Hi guys, I'm Ski with Pete. Here today we're checking out the iPassport Media Keyboard with Backlit. Media Keyboard with Backlit. Okay, so let's get inside. All right, first thing to say is that this keyboard has come in this amazing plastic sealed thing. Oh, I thought it was... Oh, and look, it comes right open. I thought this was going to be one of those... I got the knife already. I thought this was going to be one of those ones where I have to slice through and then I'm cutting my wrist and then I'm bleeding all over the place. I thought it was... But it's not. Look, look how easy it is to get inside of this. Okay. Let's put the keyboard down here. Look at the, look at the graphics inside of this. You've seen a lot of gamer boards on this channel, but this is certainly not a gamer board. This looks like it's a... Wow, that is a complex cable. All right, we'll get to that in a second. And this is probably the instructions. We'll get to those in a minute, but that is the box, the front and the back. The iPaz port, okay? Now, let's just look at this USB cable because it's scaring me. I don't even understand what's going on with it. It's got like one too many parts to it. What? What the? Okay, so this, this, this is not how this works. Okay, so this is gonna go into your computer. This is gonna provide an extra USB. I don't know why you'd want that. Oh, probably for a mouse or something. No, because this has a mouse. And then this is a micro for charging. I don't get it, whatever. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put that off to the side and say there's a charging cable that comes with it that's a little bit unusual. But you guys don't care about the charging cable. You came here to see about the iPaz port. Now, this is not a mechanical keyboard, at least, I don't think it is. No, it's just a rubber dome. This is a rubber dome keyboard. A rubber dome keyboard on my YouTube channel which predominantly focuses on mechanical keyboards. It's an excellent question and I don't really have an answer. No, I do have an answer. It's kind of two answers and they're both kind of confusing. First, iPassport contacted me and asked me to review their keyboard so I didn't know until just then that it wasn't a mechanical keyboard. That's reason number one. Uh, but reason number two is that I've actually reviewed non-mechanical keyboards on my channel before and there's a reason for that. I, I have a reason. Let me show it to you. In the past, I've called this the best keyboard for your HTPC. You see, because it includes a mouse and it's rubber domes, but who cares? It's really portable and it goes on the couch really easily with me. And so I often use this thing and reference this thing. So I'm assuming that's the video that I Passport saw and decided that they wanted me to check it out. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at exactly what this is. This is like a 60% plus F keys plus arrow keys in the corner. So it's definitely a non-standard keyboard layout. Definitely for us mechanical keyboard enthusiasts, these are non-replaceable keycaps. The keyboard itself has a bit of a has a bit of a warp to it. I don't know if you can quite see that, but it's not quite flat along that back edge there. It's not, it's kind of, there's a little bit of, a little bit of flex to this board, let's say. It's just a little, it's a little bit flexible. There's a little bit of mm, flex. You could say it's got a little bit of flex to this board. Okay, uh, so there's the keyboard part of it here with that little dip in it kind of thing there. And then over here is the mouse. So you can, uh, while you're on the couch and you're surfing, whatever, you can be like uh, Netflix, blah, blah, blah. And then you can move the mouse around and you can do that sort of thing. I think that's, that's I'm really, I'm, I'm surprised by the amount of flex this has got. Okay. Um, let's just flip it over and take a look. Uh, on the back side, we have an on off switch there. Uh, we also have the micro USB port. But this also opens up. Let's just see exactly what's in here. Oh, here's the USB, the USB stick part. Uh, on the back, it says iPaz port connection RF 2.4 G. So uh, what I have to do is plug this in and see exactly how it works. So let me do that. 
Oh, actually, you know what? On closer inspection, I'm just going to zoom in and show you this. Can you see that? It has two possibilities. Oh, a bit of a focus issue here. There you go. You have the choice of off or no. I'm going to choose no. All right. So now that I've plugged it in, uh, I can see that the mouse is working. The mouse is actually, uh, I'm using this on Linux, uh, and it's actually, it's quite sensitive. It's quite sensitive. And I'm just going to uh, type something in here uh, just to test it out. Uh, great, so it works uh, just like you'd expect. So I would describe the key presses as um, I would describe the key press as a little uh, je jelly. Uh, there's um, nothing quite like it, to be honest. Uh, it's what's the right word for this? Um, it's kind of well, it's like a it's like a disgusting little keyboard. It's not really that great, and I certainly wouldn't recommend it for your daily use on your desktop. Um, it would probably make you not feel very well. That's the truth. But, but, I will say this. This keyboard is not intended for your desktop. This keyboard is not intended to replace your everyday mechanical keyboard. And that's what we are here, right? We're mechanical keyboard enthusiasts, right? That's not what this disgusting thing is meant to do. Oh, it's got some functions too. I should totally play with those. Function... Oh, look at red, green, blue, blue, blue. Can you guys see that? Can you see that, the, the under lighting? But that's, that's the thing. That's what this keyboard is for. This keyboard is for back here. Like this. And to be honest, when you're sat back like this and you're doing exactly what I'm doing, It's actually kind of not bad, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. It's kind of not bad. It's light. It's small. It's easy to hold. Look. And that backlighting. Well, that's really what this keyboard is meant to be. So to judge it for what it is instead of what it isn't. You know what? This thing isn't bad. It's not. It's... A thing to watch on the TV, and if you sit on it, you're probably not going to break it. So that's the truth. The I'm in Linux, and that's what most HTPCs are, or at least should be made of. And what I'm saying is, this mouse is pretty good, and the portability of it's pretty good, and you can hold it. There's like nice corners for you to hold onto it with. Well, I'm going to say it's not that bad. I'm going to say it's actually it's actually kind of good. I mean, would I rather that would I rather that over the Logitech? I don't know, I'll tell you. I'll be honest, I'm going to go put this by the I'm going to go put this by the the machine and then I'll see which one I pick up. It's definitely smaller. They're both kind of floppy. Look, this one I've been saying is the best keyboard for your HTPC. Well, look, if this is the best keyboard for your HP, HTPC, why not save 20 bucks and get this one? I'm serious. I know you guys are watching this for real. And, and like you're going, what? Pete, how could you possibly say that? But seriously, what? Would you rather this? Because you, what? Why would you... This is, is this better than this? No, it's not. In fact, the mouse movement on this is, it's even snappier and more responsive than it is on this thing. And with the underglow, like how can you not, how can you not respect the underglow? There's no backlighting on this thing. Well, guys, did I open the box and expect to, to come away with that? Nope. Did I have any inkling 
that I was going to come away and say, actually, the iPassport's pretty damn cool. Nope. Didn't believe it. Well, that has been the iPassport. Thanks for joining us today. You can find links to everything that you've seen in today's video, including the cool tools around my desk and a link to the iPassport in the About section below. Don't forget to press like on this video. Don't forget to press subscribe on this channel if you haven't already done so. If you're interested in supporting the channel, you can buy me a coffee in the About section below, or you can support the channel on Patreon. Thanks to everybody who's already done that. Really definitely appreciate it. Thank you to iPassport for sending through this unusual keyboard. I totally didn't think I was going to like it straight out of the box. Straight out of the box, I said, this thing is gross and disgusting. And by the end of it, I thought, actually, I'm probably going to use it. I'm probably going to plug it in as soon as this video is over to the HTPC. If you guys know of a better keyboard, um, of a mechanical keyboard with a mouse attached that you think that I should start using for my HTPC, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks again for tuning in. Thanks again for supporting the channel. Thank you guys. Always great to see you. Look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Thanks again.